Do you guys remember those videos of people going into Ross or Marshalls and hunting for super expensive soccer cleats? Well, I haven't seen anybody do that in a long time, so that is exactly what we're doing today. Literally the last like 10 times I've been here, I have not found anything, so our odds aren't looking that good. There's some football cleats, but those are the wrong kind of football. I've got some cool shoes in here, but I literally have not found a single pair of soccer cleats yet. Like, why do they have these and not soccer cleats? What are those? All right, we're just gonna jump over to like the seven and a half, eight and a half shoe size here to see if they have anything. They're really not looking good. Nothing, nothing. They have three pairs of the same shoes, but can't have a single pair of soccer cleats. Are these Oakleys? <laughs> no way. They are, what the heck. Oakleys. I've never seen Oakley shoes before. You know, we're going over to the women's section. They got nothing over here. I walked over to the women's section and there's literally no soccer cleats over here either. We're getting out of this place. I literally hunted through all the men's and women's shoes. Couldn't find a single pair of soccer cleats. So I'm hoping I'll have better luck over at Burlington. I probably have not been in this store in like six to eight years. So I have no clue what's in here. All right, guys, it's already looking way better. Found our first pair. These ones don't fit me. They're size 12, but they come in at, let's see here, 30 bucks. That's not too bad. Yo, these are sick. These are some nice ones. Leather upper, and they got the soft ground studs too. Still too big. They're size 11, but already way better than Ross. That thing's beeping at me. They got, they got some ugly Yeezy looking foam runners, but I don't think those are Yeezys. I'd buy them if they were, because I'd, I'd just resell them for a crap ton of money, but yeah. Off brand. Ooh, eh, these ones are okay. 25 bucks, but these are cheapos. Now we're gonna run through my size and see if they have anything good over here. Ooh. Okay, those aren't bad, size eight though, and 42 bucks, so it's not great but those things are probably like 130 new or something if I had to guess, maybe a little more. Guys, I think we're running out of cleats. Okay, we got some more right here. What the heck are those? Oh, Vizaris, no. Ooh, maybe some more? Yeah, uh, those are okay. So they ran out of men's cleats. I found some cool ones, but none of them that fit me, but we're gonna go over to the women's section and see if I can find anything good over there. They have some of the exact same cleats over here in the women's, but yeah, these are way too big. 11 and a half, geez. I just found out that these are actually rugby cleats and not soccer cleats. And these are by far our best find, so that kind of sucks. It's looking like a bust here too, guys. I just feel so defeated, guys. I went to Ross in Burlington and I found a total of like three or four pairs of cleats. So we kind of busted that myth that you can't find expensive cleats at the Ross or Burlington in Yakima. Because honestly, I've been doing this for probably 10 years, going to these stores and looking for cleats every time I go there. And there's maybe like the mid-tier cleats and that's about it. So try at your own risk. It's There's not really any risk, but you know, try at your own place. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. And if you do try it and you do get some good cleats, let me know, I'd love to hear about it and you can rub it in my face. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.